Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to start our Google Docs training. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first step I always use is to click on the little waffle bar, and then I want you to start a brand new Google Doc. When you click this button, we're going to start a blank one. We're going to start by naming the project, and I want you to call this Top Tinkercad. And I want you to put your initials after it. Notice those are my initials. Make sure you put your initials. Friends, our goal is going to be to make something fun in Tinkercad, but also learn all of the buttons and how they work. The first thing I want to show you is this little guy. If you ever hit it, it hides all your buttons. That's how you bring them back. Right now, mine probably looks different than yours because I've got this summary. If we click on the view menu, mine had the document outline. I'm gonna click that and shut it off. And then I wanna go right to my page setup. Click file, choose page setup. We wanna do the whole document and then we're gonna take these margins and we're gonna type 0 0.5 in each box. 0 0.5, if you wanna be fast, you can do control C, a shortcut. And then on the next one, double click and do control V, double click and do control V. We are also going to pick a fun page color as we make a brochure. Now, when you do this in my class, I ask that you stay in these two rows, the light colors. Pick whichever one you like, hit OK, and boom, you're on your way to making your first Google Docs brochure. This brochure is going to use something called word art. We get there by doing insert and drawing, and we're going to choose new. Now, for some reason, in my classroom, I've seen an error where when we do word art, it doesn't work the first time. So I'm going to tell you to hit gibberish, press enter, and then you can click on that one and hit delete. And then the next time you click word art, it should work the way it's supposed to. Now, I am going to name mine Tinkercad Treasures. This is going to be a document about all of our Tinkercad projects. If you come up with a fancier name, you can do that. If you wanted to do two lines, you would do Shift Enter. I am just going to click, and now the Tinkercad Treasures shows up the way I want. I'm going to move it to the top. I'm going to pick a fun font. Now, you can use all the fonts they show you. So, like, I could grab Lobster. Or I can also do more fonts and I can search for these. Now this font word is something I want you to understand. It is something we're going to quiz on. So make sure you understand the font is how fancy it looks. So I'm going to add Pacifico right now. It looks pretty nice, but I want to change the color. There are two ways to change the color. The first one we can do is with a solid. We could also use a gradient. Pick whatever you think is awesome. And then also, we can change the outline. I'm going to give mine a gray outline, and I want to make my outline thicker. So friends, I'm expecting you, as we do these, to learn all these buttons. We've learned word art. We've learned fill. We've learned border. We've learned how to change the border weight. You can also change these. I don't think that's a good idea for this project, though, because I think that looks much cooler. When you're happy with that design, friends, hit save and close. Our brochure is starting to take shape. We need to make sure this stays where it's supposed to, though. We are going to turn on what we call break text. That means whatever we add next goes below it. Friends, the piece we're going to put below it is our name. So I'm going to put by Mike. You can put your first and last name. I'm flexible. I want you to select those. So that means we're dragging from the left to the right, right to the left. And I want you to choose center. And I want you to make it a heading two. Notice that is a nice size for the shape. And then you're going to press enter. Notice everything moves back to the left. So we've got a piece of word art. We've got our name. We used center, which is something you're going to be quizzed on. Notice this one is left, this one is right, this one is justify, this one is line and paragraph spacing. We're not going to use that, but I do want you to know what it is. Notice right now, friends, this line changed to normal text. That is exactly what we want. For this part of the project, we are also going to stay with the font Arial. We do that because it's easy to read. Up here, you can have fancy fonts for your titles. We'll maybe have fancy fonts for our headings. But for our body text, we'll always use normal. And we should always use an easy font to read, like Arial. I am going to let you change the font size to 12. It just makes it a little larger, which is easier for these old eyes to read when you finally turn in your project. 
So friends, I want you to type some text about Tinkercad. So I put in my text, Tinkercad is a really fun 3D modeling program, period. It runs in a web browser and it works on Chromebooks, period. I use tutorials by HL Mod Tech. Now you can type this exactly. You can type something a little different. You can add more, but I want you to have this first introduction to Tinkercad and then press enter to move to the next section. Now friends, this next part is pretty fun. We are gonna add images to our document of our three favorite Tinkercad projects. Now I've gotta limit you to three. That's the rules for the part that you're turning in because our brochure is gonna fit on one page. Trust me, we've got room for three pictures. So I need you to visit Tinkercad. I want you to get rid of the grid. Now the coolest way I know of to do this is to just backspace and type 0 .01 backspace and type 0 0.01 notice it was 200 so we are going to put that back later and what this does is it lets you get a high quality picture now in my room we use snipping tool if you do sn it should pop up if you have some other tool you can pick that once you launch snipping tool once you launch snipping tool you just hit new and you grab a super high quality picture of your vehicle and you save it into your project. Now we're saving this in the downloads folder. I'm gonna call this car one, and that way we can get back to it another day. We could have just did copy and paste, but I want it this way, because then you can return to your document, make sure you move down to the next line, and we're going to insert an image and we're gonna upload. We're gonna to go to that downloads folder, and we're gonna grab it and bring it in. Now here's the other tricky rule. You must squish it so it's small. We're going to have three pictures. So there'll be one, there'll be two, and there'll be three. The first one has to be on the left. We want this image to be on the left side, and we need to choose what's called wrap text. Notice that made the words go around it. So I'm going to put it so it's just like this. My text is over here. And now on this side, I want you to switch from normal text to heading two. Heading two selected, you're gonna name it. So this will be my Tinkercad car. When you press enter, switch back to normal text if it didn't, and I want you to type a paragraph about your car. Tell me about the design, tell me the colors you chose, tell me why you liked that car in this chunk of space. You can have different words than me, and as a matter of fact, you should have different words than me. Notice mine were size 11, so I'm gonna bump them up to size 12. When you press enter, I want you to switch to what's called a numbered list. I want you to tell me the three, four, or five things that you think are most cool about your car. The rule is they must end at the bottom of this chunk. So if you need to adjust this up, adjust this down, you can, but you've got to squeeze them in all on this piece. So there I typed in my five make-believe ones. Once again, yours should be different because yours is way cooler than mine. You guys had much more fun with the cool things you added onto your vehicle. When you get to the bottom, press enter. We want to cancel out, so we're going to hit backspace so that goes away. Press enter again, and we want to move to the next spot which comes over here to the left. So I had to press enter three times to get over here. Now we're gonna insert our next chunk of text. It's gonna be heading two as well. And this time I'm gonna put my second image. You can pick any of your Tinkercad projects, do those exact same steps you did before. But this time we're gonna do the copy button. And then back in our Google Doc, we're gonna do control V, which is paste. Once again, you need to shrink it. We know it has to be small. Once again, we're gonna turn on wrap text. And then what's cool about this one is when we push it over to this side, our words will still show up over here. What's nice about this wrap text is as we make our brochure, my rule with the picture is gonna be left, right, left. And now you can see we can still type over here. So this will be Tinkercad B. Once again, we're given the title by using the heading style. Underneath it, it'll switch to our normal text. We're gonna change the size to 12. And I want you to tell me a little bit about whatever your second project is. You didn't make the B, so you'll have to pick something that you did make that you are proud of. Friends, I wrote about my B project. You would write about whatever you made. After you get to the bottom, I want you to press enter, and I want you to try bullets this time. 
I would write here whatever I thought was cool. You can have a couple, you can have many. You just need to make sure it goes down to the end of your picture. Now this is where you tinker with your project and adjust it so it fits. Notice if I make this a little larger, that pushes down. The big thing is when I get to the next line, I do backspace. And now I'll be able to move to the other side with my third picture. Real quick, as you're collecting your pictures, remember you need to pick designs you made. Don't have the design selected or you have those handles. You can pick whichever way you want for collecting your picture. I am going to use that copy and paste technique. Once again, copy and then switch to your project. Make sure you're on the line below and do control V to paste it in. Now here's where we run into the problem where mine doesn't fit. So what we do then is we shrink our designs so that we have more room so that we can do all of them on one page. Make sure you turn on your wrap text. Now it lets me put it up there. I'll get my words over to the side and I'm gonna follow the same step for the last piece of my brochure. On this side, I'm gonna do heading two. This one will be called Tinkercad Jet. Of course, to add some words about whatever design you picked. And then this time I want you to use the fun check boxes. And we're gonna just put these silly words in here and for my checkbox words, I'm just putting had fun, tutorial on YouTube, and then I typed would recommend. Notice these squiggles, that means I didn't spell it right. Notice it will try and fix your spelling errors for you, or it'll show you that there's an error, and then you can fix it later. Real quick, I'm gonna type th THSI instead of this. Notice there it gives me the red squiggles. If you ever see those, try and get it spelled correctly. Also try and double check if you need correct spelling. Friends, we have built this whole project. It fits. Now we just need to make sure it's all totally awesome. Friends, there you have a ton of cool stuff. Now I just want you to add some cool links. So notice we said tutorials by HL Mod Tech. So what I need you to do is visit my YouTube channel. I will make sure there is a link in the description. Once you get to this page, simply copy the URL from the top line. Return to the project. Make sure you've got the word HL Mod Tech selected. Click the link choice. And then we want to paste in that link and hit apply. Now, friends, when somebody clicks on your project, they can actually open the YouTube channel that easily. So if you share this project with a friend, they would be able to learn about these projects. If you wanted at this point, you could add the tutorial link for each of your other projects. Friends, I'm gonna run through a few things I expect you to know. This is the bold. You should pick one word in your project and make sure it's bold. This is underlined. If you pick any word and make it underlined, that'd be fantastic. If you want to take another word, I'm going to make the word window because it's not really a window. I'll make it italics. This is the highlight tool, but I don't want anything highlighted. Right here is how we add comments. And once again, this is a shortcut for adding images. We ran through all of these left, center, and right. This is justify. We don't use it much. We did not want to change our spacing because I demand this fits on one page. Over here, we played with the checkbox, the bulleted list, and the numbered list. This right here, my friends, I'm gonna show you real quick. This one is increase indent. Notice they moved that way. This one is decrease indent. This one shuts off all formatting. I don't wanna do that. I do wanna show you that this little guy is the paint formats. It's real cool, so watch this. If we decided this could be a different color, let's go font color and I'm gonna do a dark gray. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Let's instead go with a dark blue. When I click on my blue, that looks pretty good. Now if I grab it, I can copy that format and I can paste it to the other pieces. Paste format again, and boom, it allows you to paste what you did to several parts of your project. Friends, here's the final part of this. I need you to zoom out. We're gonna probably do that with Zoom 75. When you can see it all, I need you to take one screenshot of this and I need you to turn it in to Google Classroom. Make sure it all fits on one beautiful page 
and save it. I'm going to call it brochure Tinkercad. And then, friends, with that completed, you need to turn it in to Google Classroom. Friends, that was a ton of stuff in a little bit of time, but I hope now you have a better understanding of how to use Google Docs, how to add images, arrange them so the text goes where you want, and you can make awesome brochures in just a matter of minutes. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And of course, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a